Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a very hot and humid Bangkok, and to the crazy Chinatown. I'm not alone. I'm with my mom and my auntie. Together, we are going to discover this beautiful city. So, why not join us? Thailand, home for the next two weeks. After four years separation due to COVID, my mom, my auntie, and I, we decided to come to this beautiful country together. Visit many beautiful places, meet many lovely people, taste many new flavor. Come and join us. Wat Thai Mi Temple, home of the world's largest golden Buddha. The Buddha was covered in plaster in order to be protected. For over two hundred years. People didn't know what was hidden underneath the layer of the plaster. Only in 1995, the Buddha was dropped during the relocation. The layer broke and revealed the Golden Buddha. 5.5-ton Golden Buddha stands at three meters tall and is comprised of 83% gold, estimated to be worth. Over 250 million euros. A few inches later, Bangkok's Chinatown is made up of bustling streets, filled with gold, jade, jewelry shops, clothing, accessories, exotic spices, basically everything you need. But we are here, above all, for its incredible food. I don't think there is anything better when you get to a new place than just going out for a walk, seeing what you can see, smelling all the new smells, trying to get a grasp of the place, engaging your senses, and getting lost. We like also a lot, hands down the best in Bangkok, and it's a fraction of the price of Grand Palace. Definitely worth it. There are ninety nine pagodas in this complex. Beautiful, and there are only four biggest ones over there. Like you can see, these represent simply the kings: Rama the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Wat Pho is one of the first-class royal temples. The king Rama the first, who rebuilt the temple complex on an earlier temple site, the temple was later expanded. And renovated by Rama the Third, it houses the largest collection of Buddha images in Thailand, because Rama the First gathered all the Buddha images from each of the city to the capital. The amazing reclining Buddha is so impressive; it has 46 meter long and 50 meter high. The feet of the Buddha are huge, and inlaid with mother of pearl. There are 108 bronze bowls representing the 108 or specials character of Buddha. Drop coins in, it brings good fortune. The Temple of Dawn is one of the most recognizable landmarks. The main pagoda is 84 meters high. 
it encrusted with colorful porcelain from China. There are actually a lot of Chinese architecture, and that's because when King Rama III was in power, Thailand was doing a lot of trade with China by shipping out rice and silk. In return, he wanted these Chinese porcelain statues that would help in the boat being shipped back by creating kind of balance thanks to their weight. Good morning, everyone. We've just arrived at this beautiful place called Jim Thompson House. We're going to visit this house today with you. The opening time is 10 o'clock. Now it's 9.45, I think. So we have 15 minutes in front of us. Maybe we will take a coffee over there. This coffee is new from last year, I think. Jim Thompson built those houses in a traditional Thai way. There are in total six red deep wood houses like this, they are on steels. The steels have the functionality to prevent the animals and the flood. We love this beautiful tiny jungle. It's so peaceful. It's like a little wonderland where the fairies would live. This is an example of press or a stamp. It's used to print the silk. Inspiration from this Chinese pottery. The house was built in 1958, holds an extensive collection of artworks and antiques from Southeast Asia. Jean Thompson he worked for the Secret Service. He arrived in Bangkok in 1945 and decided to set up permanently in Thailand. He got into silk business. At that time, people were producing silk at home. Thompson revived the silk by exporting the high-quality silk items to Western countries. This is a horoscope for the house. He moved to the house on the exact date that the monk decided for him, which was the 3rd April 59. Next to it, another interesting prediction said that he should be very careful when he turned 61. And exactly, he mysteriously disappeared in 67 in Malaysia during his vacation. He was 61 years old. This house is right alongside a colon, so I can literally just hear the water and the waves. Seriously, this place is amazing. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Huang. Huang Zhenfa. Uh. I was so looking forward to meeting Master Huang and eating his famous pak pao, loved by Mark Wings. Well, to be honest, it's not the best version I've ever tasted. I don't think I will be rushing back anytime soon to do it again, though. All right, we need to make a move. Just a few meters away, we found the food paradise. And some, how flavorful it is. It has the right amount of sweetness and spiciness. This one is kana, green vegetable. Mmm, you have to try this base out. And the last one is kao shui. It was to die for. That's for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.